What's going on, everybody out there? This is Rep the Culture. Rep the Culture. Oh, oh, Rep the Culture. You already know. I'm your man, JB Boy 313 coming at you with another video. This video, um, got this little roach. Wondering why I may have a roach. And you're wondering why I'm on video about to smoke this roach. And that is because this is sort of an opinion piece. Sort of like the one I did about ASAP Rocky. Free Rocky. He's home. Thank God. Here he's in good spirits. It That is music to my ears. Um, this is not about that anymore. This is about something different. This is about the latest hot topic out there. And it is caused a lot of controversy it's the jay-z nfl deal yeah i said it I, I wasn't sure if i was really gonna make a video about this and talk about it but i figured why not uh i do have an opinion on it and i will go through i guess the Rumors that we've heard so far break everything down and then I'll give you guys my personal opinion on the subject With that being said what we know is that Jay-Z and Roger Goodell have signed a deal together um, Now what we know as speculation I've heard things along the lines of It's a fast track to NFL ownership I've heard that the deal includes social justice initiatives I've heard uh, also on the negative side that he is a sellout, that he's doing it just for the bag. Uh, I've heard rumors that it's to just produce the Super Bowl. There is no ownership. Uh, we've also heard rumors that he called Jermaine Dupree and talked him out of taking the deal. We later actually com heard confirmed from Jermaine Dupree that yes, they did talk, but no, he did not persuade him out of taking the deal. Uh, We've also heard back and forth, he talked to Kaepernick, Kaepernick's cap say he didn't talk to him. You know, I don't know what the truth is on all of that. This is all hearsay from different various media outlets. So I don't know if any of it's true. None of it is fact to my knowledge. So um, with that being said, we also have the Dame Dash situation. Dame Dash went on to the No Jumper podcast. Shout out No Jumper. Shout out Adam22. And he basically said Jay-Z ain't shit. Jay-Z's always been about the bag. And because he has Beyonce next to him, it, it pacifies the situation and gives him more cachet than he would normally have. Um, with that being said, uh, come on, man. We already know... Dame is not happy with Hove. They don't have a relationship of any kind anymore because of what happened with Rockefeller. So what do you expect him to say? Now, the point about uh, Beyonce standing next to him, that part I feel a little bit different about because obviously the optics of Beyonce standing next to him and them having a family probably did open up doors for both of them that they couldn't get through separately. So with that being said, it probably gave them both a little bit more cachet. With that being said, though, that doesn't mean they didn't really, you know, fall in love, meet each other, have a relationship, et cetera, et cetera. You know, they have kids together the whole nine. So, you know, it is what it is. That just probably happened naturally. Um, so we have all that. We also have people like, uh, I believe, Jeezy. I believe um, Freddie Gibbs. I even believe Chance the Rapper didn't condemn him. I don't think he uh, was on his side, but I think he kind of, you know, was saying positive things about Jay-Z because he knows him personally. But Freddie Gibbs and Jeezy said they straight up, uh, you know, they're not they're not mad at Hove for signing this deal. Now, with that being said, with all that mumbo jumbo, craziness, drama, rumor shit out the way, my personal opinion is this. I don't know shit about the deal. Does anybody out here know exactly what the deal points are? Why he signed? What is going to actually be happening? I don't believe so. Trust me. I've, I've searched. I've tried to, to, you know, I went on the Googles and looked it up. 
because I wanted to know if there were any facts. The closest thing that I could come to is it is, you know, Jermaine Dupree confirmed that Hove did not talk him out of the deal. So I don't know what's going on. So I can't form an actual opinion one way or the other because I have no idea what the deal is. Does anybody out there, do you know what the deal is? How about you? What about you over there? Do you know what the deal is? I don't, so I'm not gonna talk bad about him. I'm not going to good about him. You know, it is Jay-Z. He has definitely built up some cachet with his career, putting out many great albums, many great songs over a long period of time. You know, uh, you may disagree with me. You may be angry, and I understand that as well. You know, you're, you're entitled to your opinion out there. Me, I just want to see what the actual deal points are. What is in the contract? Like, what specifically did, did Jay-Z take a job? You know what I'm saying? Did he, like, what what's really going on? You know, we don't know. We just know they had a press conference. It's a deal that he did that I'm sure is going to benefit, hopefully, everybody we like to think, but... My personal opinion is this, once again, we don't know what that deal is. We can sit here and speculate all day long. It's just speculation. There's no facts behind it. There's no truth behind it. There's no knowledge behind it. So that's where I'm at. I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, I don't know whether to believe Dame or to believe this or to believe that, you know? You know as far as the actual deal itself, I don't know about it. So let's wait and see, people. Let's wait and see what the actual deal is. Then we can go... And, and talk about it, you know. With that being said, thank you for listening along to the ramblings of a madman. And no, I do not condone smoking cigarettes out there. That's just my steez, unfortunately. Appreciate it. Please slap a like on this if you enjoy the content. Also, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you can be made aware every time I drop some new content. Please go check out the last episode of the replay. There's some good music in there. I greatly appreciate it. Also, yes, Rep the Cult stickers. If you want one, all you have to do is hit me up in the comments down there. Or you can go to my Instagram at Rep the Cult. DM, comment under a picture, say you want one, and you will get sent one. These are free limited edition stickers, you know, from me to y'all. So hit me up. I'll send them right out. You don't have to pay anything. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Also, huge shout out to the Pearl Gang. You already know. Thank you for rolling up, smoking along with your boy. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about the situation, what your opinion is. No opinion is off limits. Thank you again. Have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Yo, let's get out there. Let's get it. You know you can. Peace.